Today I am here in Turku, Finland. This was the first capital of Finland. It's cloudy, it's chilly. Today we're gonna see a cathedral, the oldest building here in Finland, an old village to see how the Finnish people used to live here. So one thing about Turku that not everyone talks about is there's a Swedish university here, Obu Academia, which is Obu is Turku in Swedish. And it's just amazing that even in another country they have universities that are offered in another language. Like Finnish Swede people, I do see y'all and I know y'all exist. These scooters right here will literally take you everywhere in Turku, Finland. Not that bad on pricing and just, they just zoom. You guys just saw me. All right, so let's continue. We gotta get to the, we gotta get to the castle now. You guys see the ship right behind me? I know we're headed to the, the castle right now, but I guess this is literally what it's like to be in the Nordic region. All right, so no more scooter riding. So no more scooting around Turku, Finland. We're gonna walk the rest of the way to the castle. It's an eight minute walk, it's cold, but I think it's important to make sure that you exercise a little bit when you're traveling. I'm telling y'all, I really just love the Finnish ways back then. There's just not that much to their churches. Like, just look at the seats. Oh, and look at the pulpit. It's, it's still beautiful, you know? You have paintings on there and gold trimming, but it's simple. This looks like where they used to keep the prisoners. But y'all, but these chains, I don't know about y'all, but by looking at these chains, I can tell this is this is the prison. I would not want to sleep there though. It just did not seem to give you any kind of like, anything nice when you were in prison back in the day. I've been to a lot of castles so far and this castle is definitely, this castle is definitely up there. It's just, it's so simple and actually feels like a castle. It does not feel like a Louis XIV, the Sun King in France kind of castle. Not a lot of gold. I'm sorry, I keep saying that, but it's true. It's just simple. Like, look at this, look at this courtyard. It's, as an American, I know Europeans make fun of us for this, but y'all have some of the most beautiful buildings that we just don't have. Like, this is just a library, or my bad, bibliotheca. And it's just so beautiful. Like, Europeans, y'all have some of the most beautiful buildings, so just please try to just know that we don't mean to just, Please try to just know that as an American, we really love y'all's buildings. This is the square here in Turku, Finland. Honestly, it's it's honestly huge, ginormous, but they're still doing construction right now. And I feel like it's because Turku, Finland is trying to bring more tourists to the city. But like any square in Europe, you can come here, they're selling vegetables, they're selling flowers, they're selling fruits, and you have the mall around here. There's just everything here to do in a square, but pretty simple. Come to the square here in Turku, Finland, buy some stuff, support the local economy. And if you're wondering when you come to the square here in Turku, how come you don't see a lot of old buildings? That's because they had a lot of fires that happened throughout the history here. You're gonna see a lot of modern architecture blended in with that old architecture. We made it this right here. These buildings together make up the oldest building here in Turku, Finland. Finished in the 1700s and it's so beautiful. Here there's a pharmacy museum, there's a cafe, and the old house museum. So showing you what life used to be like here in Turku in the nobility area and it's, I gotta say, it's beautiful. I, I gotta stop talking. I, we gotta go inside y'all. Like just look how old and beautiful this desk looks. For real though, that scared me. That does not need to be here. That child, I would run if that turned around right now. You guys need to add this place to you, your list when you're here in Turku, Finland. There's no one here right now. It's a Tuesday afternoon and it's just not flooded with tourists. And it just really takes you back into what the days look like in the 1700s. Even where the baby would rock at. But make sure you don't touch. Don't be that person. Respect it. You know when you can tell if a place is truly old or not? When it has that... That, that good old smell and then the creaking. That's, that's how you know that this is a very, very old building. Okay, 
Hold up. This this might be the highlight of touring Turku today. This place is so beautiful. So this is the pharmacy museum here in this home and it is breathtaking. All the way down to that stunning old clock right there. So some things to note though, most of these jars were donated from pharmacies across Finland and it's just breathtaking. I like what they did with this place. They showed the old style of what the home used to, used to look like in the 1700s and then they made the other sections into they made the other section into a pharmacy museum. This is like just look at this detail. Oh, we love columns like this. We love it. And then the fact that there's just this really great view of Dorku or this really great view of the river. Look, all right, that is a stunning view of the river from this room. I don't know about y'all, but this is what I imagine an old pharmacy looking like. All right, this place is, what's this? I don't know what this is, but let, let me show y'all. Huh. If anyone can read Finnish, which is what I'm guessing this is, let me know in the comment section what this is here. These glass tubes. So many of them. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the herb room. Welcome to the herb room. You have some floppy dock right here, and it even tells in the back what it's used for. Pain relief, sedative, calming, and heart problems. This pharmacy really has it going on. There's a lot of cool things here, and I've never seen this on my travel so far. Like, this needs to be at the top of your list when you're coming here to Dorku, Finland, especially if you just love history that's just so different. It's not just, it's not just some church. This is an old house, and they turned it into a pharmacy museum. Here's what it looks like on the outside from the river, and it is beautiful. That is the oldest building here in Dorku, Finland. This is what life here in Dorku was like. They have carpenter workshops here, saddle workshops here, an old post office, and we're gonna see what does it really look like here. So I'm imagining coming into this pottery workshop, them carving out the pottery, and then putting it in the oven to scorch it. Ooh. Oh, we like, we like, like, this place, ah, oh, oh, that's that good smell. Just look at how shiny those shoes are. Wow. And then all the different tools that they used to use. And it looks like they have some kind of old documentation here. Oh, well, it's okay. It's like, what does it say? I can't translate it in a good way. I'm sorry. We're here in this old village in Turku, Finland. And what's so great about this place is it's one of the last surviving places here in Turku. Because in 1827, it suffered a very tragic fire all throughout the city. Everything burning. People could come here. They could get land for cheap outside the city limits. So let's see what we can find here. A Texas boy here in Turku, Finland. This was the shoemaker's home where you could work on shoes, could sleep in this bed. You can see the bed is a lot larger now. Got to make sure you close the doors. They even have it down to like the old keys and the locks. I like it. This was where they came to do their business. And there's like three different spots. This is crazy. There's literally three different spots to, you know, so you got to pop a squat, pop a squat together and hold hands. One of the most unique things here is the fact that they have an active post office where you can actually send postcards to your loved ones. Look, look at this. An active post office. That's just crazy. So this is the second oldest market hall here in Turku, Finland. Opened in 1896, which is called Kalkohali. And I'm, I'm sorry, I slandered it for my Finnish people. But we're going to go check inside and see what kind of stalls they have to offer. Apparently they have meats. Let's just, let's just go in. And then if you want to come here early in the morning, pick up some raw meat, some steaks, some chicken, you can do that and then you can cook that food when you get home. This place even has a sit down place that looks just like a train car back in the day. Like this, this market hall is very beautiful. Like just look how beautiful it is. 
you can come here with a friend, a spouse, and just eat here in this old market hall and feel like, and just feel like you're back in the 1900s. Liberty or Death, which is this bar right by the cathedral here in town. Super excited. Let's see if they can make some Ritz nice cocktails. And yes, I did buy some gloves today because I, I got really cold here with their weather. Texas boy. Okay, y'all. Okay, so this place is stunning. Like, oh, just look at the seating and everything. The brown table, the candles, and then this menu. This place is really setting you up to have a chill night with your spouse, your friends, and have a nice cold cocktail. Let's let's see. Did he? Let's see, did he make a really great drink or did he not? Wow. Look at how beautiful this cathedral looks. So simple, but yet just so pristine. Okay, so when you do come to the cathedral here in Turku, you can enter, admission is free, but there's literally no one here. I don't know where all the tourists are at, but there's none right now, maybe because it's fall. So maybe this is the perfect season you should come to Finland. There's no tourists here at all. It's probably because this is the off season. I don't know. It's just something about Finnish architecture back there in the medieval days, just because it's just so simple in there. There's murals, there's people that are buried there, but it's just... It's not gaudy. There's not a lot of gold in there. It makes me feel like here in Turku, they were actually distributing the wealth amongst even just the regular locals. I just, not off to my, my fitness people. Y'all know what's crazy? This cathedral has been standing here since 1300 and there's actually a queen. Yes, a queen buried here. She was the queen of Sweden and she was married to the mad king of Sweden. They were both imprisoned at Castle Home Slot, a castle in the Olin Islands. And if you're wondering, what is the Olin Islands, Davion? Click this video right here. You have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, 